Yeah. You know, to be, how about yourself? Good. I need a new pair of running sneakers. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and have you sit down and we'll do the whole fitting process right cool. now. Cool. Um, what kind of running are you doing right now? I run about three to four times a week. Um, about three or four miles. Well, let's, uh, why don't you take off your shoes for me and let's take a look at your feet and see if you're in the right shoes. First sure. Time. So the first thing I notice is your arches aren't that big and it looks like you have a little bit of protrusion on that uh, ball of the foot area and not too wide of a foot. So why don't we get you in something with a little bit of posting. Um, so here's the updated version of the shoe you were in. Yes. And I see that the previous model you were in had posting in it. And this is basically this sort of, uh, it's a little denser area of the heel right here. Okay. That is almost like a little mini retaining wall. So if your foot has a tendency to do this, this will actually pitch it back this way. And it's all about keeping everything in alignment from your foot all the way up to your knee. And then your hip and your back is also contingent upon the balance in that part of the foot. So try awesome. this off for me and tell me how that feels. So that's why it's important to make sure that we come to a store like this so that you can get the right sneaker. Bingo, without a doubt. For your body. And the other thing I think that gives us an advantage over some of the other places is we're gonna videotape you in just a minute and then we can really see, slow down the frame enough that we can actually see how your foot's landing and what's happening. So oh, that sounds great. Would you care to join me over on the treadmill? Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay. Um, and it's not a speed test and you shouldn't feel self-conscious or anything, it's just about looking just at how your foot lands. So. Okay. And we're gonna be looking at you from two different angles today. And I think one of the good things is just making sure the shoe actually just disappears underneath you if you're overly conscious of any aspect of it. Okay. Um, that's not a good sign because it's probably going to bother you when you get about half hour way into the run. So. This feels really good. It feels yeah. nice and light. It's comfortable. So you can go ahead and press the stop button and it'll slow it down for you a little bit. And then we'll get a sense of what you're doing when we slow down the tape. There's a lot to look at here and a lot of people kind of, you know, think that, you know, we're looking at the background here and there. But it really, it's localized right there when your foot's actually hitting the ground mm -hmm. and then it's right here and here it's a 90 degree angle that we're looking for if it just is another thing that we do here um, is we look at the side body and the side body can be really helpful in seeing exactly how that foot is landing um, if you look right here just making sure you're not landing too heavily on the heel right. making sure you're not locking that knee out too much and another thing that I always like to look at is just make sure somebody isn't bouncing too much. And that's sort of your low point on your stride there, uh -huh. right there where my thumb is. Yes. And you just want to make sure that you're not coming up and down because too much verticality means, number one, that you that bouncing and you're just putting too much effort into it. Right. And it's about moving forward. And if you watch some of the really fast people in the park or in the gym, you're going to see if you cover the bottom half of their body, you can't even tell they're running sometimes. Right. They're just moving forward and it's a real smooth movement. Right. But it's also really relaxed. So it's how effortless you can make it as well. Right. I love this. I I think this is so important for everyone to see that being able to go to a store like Jackrabbit Sports and then having this type of technology, which is amazing, to be able to really see yourself and, and be able to analyze it like this. Without a doubt. And I think whether you're a beginning runner or a really advanced runner, a lot of people that come in through the doors here have never seen themselves run on film. And I think seeing yourself actually moving in space on film is a great thing. And it's not something you should be embarrassed about or feel self-conscious about. It's really a great instructive tool for people to really walk away from the store with a great deal of knowledge. <laughs>